Um, I hope you guys can appreciate the trouble that I'm going through to show you guys this because it's pretty annoying. So, bring this closer um, so you guys can see. This right here is called the puller. Uh, once I finish taking this, I'm going to show you guys exactly what it looks like. And you can get this from Amazon. Um, this will help you when you're taking this part out because most of the time what we have to do is you have to hit it from this side for it to come out this also is going to help you a lot when you're taking the screw that are underneath here the screws that are under here that are holding on to this it's going to help to take it out because you can move this out a bit right which is going to give you space a little bit more space to work with down here and then with this this pulls this one out a little bit let me see right now don't do too much not to pull it too much just need to find that uh, so make sure you guys see it so you have one of the bolts right here and this is a uh, 18 millimeter this goes on there and you actually you tighten it and as you tighten it, it's slowly, it's slowly pulling onto this in the back and it's bringing it out. And what that does is it pulls this a little bit more this way, right? And then this gives you more room to work in here. Now, let me show you guys. So now it's easy for me to get this under here and start taking these bolts off. to get down on the floor so. all right guys so we're back and I've gotten the bolts that are back here loose so now we're gonna start pulling on this and this is gonna start coming up right so I'm just gonna recommend that you get one of these these are the extra long see the pretty pretty long right it allows you to get in there like put it through the side and just be taking it out so get one of this this one is by titans you got a couple of these uh, because the light the right tool can make your life a whole lot easier so now I'll put this on here. I'm sure you guys can see that. Put this on here. And it's gonna start pulling this out as it's getting tighter. Because it's pushing the boat inside. There's no need for banging like boom, boom, boom. got it almost out again this is what it looks like right it attaches to that back and it just pull so take that out gonna wiggle this bad boy seem like now nah, this area is tight so again you put this right here it's even a little hole if you look at your scooter, if you look at the boats, it's like a little hole on this thing. And that's where you can put this thing on. So if I bring this to the back, put that to the back, and then latch it in. You gotta lose. Make sure it's lighting. See, it's pulling this side out right now. See that? Makes your life a whole lot easier. A whole lot easier. Put this over here. 
is for this. Make sure you keep your stuff organized. And there you go. I uh, gotta disconnect. Uh, let me pull back. And go this thing right. Okay. As you can see, you gotta disconnect the cable that attaches right there. And then we have to move this out of the way. In this I know him last time. I was doing this. Let's see. Okay, disconnected. You're working on the do trunk. There's gonna be some unnecessary stuff like this, like causing problems. But you gotta have patience and get the right tools. And you just you get them out. Being annoying, so I had to pop that right out. Disconnected, that's fine. I'll connect it back when I'm when I'm done with this. Move this out of the way. Um, I think last time I actually just left it hanging out the top over here, but I had to I had to tape it. I had to tape it so. When I'm doing the stuff with the tire, it will not, it wouldn't be like moving or falling over. So I'll tip this right now. tape right there you should hold that perfectly there so now we can go for this um, make sure you remember that for you don't even have to take this off We're just just taking the bolts off from the taking the tire right off and another thing I would recommend I mean I don't I don't need to really do it because I don't think it's necessary for me right now because it's not like I'm changing tire or anything like that. But you can take out the air from this tire. Sorry guys, I hope that did not get so loud. A little bit air off. Let's go for these bolts. You guys already know I replaced these bolts, so uh, shouldn't have any breaking of bolts with those cheap ones from before. So Not sure why they use the boat. Trying to make your life difficult. Ah. 
I always go in circles when I'm taking these things off. I never just completely take out one of them. I always want to go in circles. You see some of them get loose. Like seriously, Dutron, do you know how much you can make our life easier by putting some quality boats instead of using the other ones that you guys are using on this thing? That breaks. That that was so crazy. I almost lost my mind trying to change this tire the very first time. Again, shout out to Cooper for coming through that time and helping me to figure out how to get these boats off. Because I had to hit them up in a crazy way that scared me that I thought, hey, I might damage my motor. Start going a little bit faster with these things now. I do have power too, but I really don't like using them for this thing. I can pause the video and then I'll start back up once you know I've gotten all these boats out because I don't want this to be too long. All right, guys, so we are back. Um, I got all the screws pretty much out now. Can actually just take this off. Uh, this is gonna try to stop you. That's why, that's why you probably you want to take out the air from the tire just so to make it easier. Right? So, got this out now. My boy V was saying that uh, when you're mounting this. Uh, there's a chance that the brake back there, I'm going to have to file this area down. I already have my file and all that stuff because it might be touching um, this. So let's see if it's the same thing for the motor for the Thunder 2. So make sure your tire rotation is right. It's going this way. And just line it up. That that slide it in there like way better than this things went in there. Like that just slide it right in. Like no problem. Alright. So let's let's check that lineup. And uh Start putting the boat in. So, where's the other one? The boat for this split rim is actually longer um, than the the other one. So, this is the original. Let's see if this thing will ever okay. So this is the original one that just came out right now. But theirs I think it was like what did they say it was? M five forty. It's this long. Is this thing will focus? Yeah, it's way longer. So that's what that's what you're gonna get. That's what you're gonna get in the bag. It's these things. Uh, I asked them the size because I hope these are quality stuff. This is not like what they have in the scooter. Because it, it looks just like it with silver one. Even though it does feel a little bit stronger. I am gonna replace this. I already put it in my order to get to get some of these. But 
Um, yeah. I thought these are the same height. Yeah. So I got some some titanium ones that I would like to add. You know, because I'm always decorating my stuff. Uh, it's crazy. We all have the same damn scooter. We all have the same scooter. So I want my stuff to look just a bit different. So so why you see me like painting out this and making this stuff look how I want it to look. You know? But like I said, I think this might work way better. This time I work way better. I mean, look at that thing. Looks nice, right? Uh, just need to line up the the holes. Get some get some light. Sorry, guys. Gotta get some more light in there so I can see this line up. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it right there. Just put it lined up. Get, start getting some of the boots in. Okay. That one seems to be going in. Nice and easy. Facing, always gotta be checking, make sure, <laughs> make sure that this is facing the right way. You do not want to have to do this again. Trust me, you don't want to do it again. I'm putting them slowly, one at a time. I want to go across the camera mountain is in the way so I need to push this back a bit if you guys can still see it it's good went in there pretty easy on that side uh, I'm gonna throw in some of this ones. Titanium. Going in there pretty easy too. It's good. This thing was titanium things are so expensive. So it's annoying. It's pretty crazy. Uh I'm actually gonna take this one out. Put the other titanium one over there. So they line up. So I have four of this. <laughs> Could only get four, man. So you guys know. Once you get this scooter, you have to be ready to go broke. You have to be ready to have no money. <laughs> no money whatsoever. My credit card company is loving me right now. They are loving me. A lot of us have to get this thing financed and all that stuff. It's crazy. That's why we ask for the best customer service, man. <laughs> you gotta give us the best customer service. We will take nothing less. You cannot be disrespecting customers that are investing in your dreams. Because right now, these electric scooters are a dream to us and to the companies that are making them. It's a dream come true. So if we're investing in this dream, you got to treat us right. Because we don't only invest, we also like, we're the ones trying these things out and letting people know, hey, you need to get you a Dutron. You need to get you a Nami. You need to get you a Bronco. You need to get you all these high performance scooters. But the key 
It's always good customer service. If I can get good customer service from a company, I'm not buying anything from them. And if I buy stuff from a company and they don't have good customer service, I'm going to let you guys know. Because I want my pay, I want my Instagram, I mean, I want this, my platform to be about transparency. All my, tra- all my platforms that I have. Because I think that's the only way we can keep these companies honest. It's the only way. If something happens and you don't speak up, you don't speak out, the companies are going to keep playing games with us. Until one of us gets into an accident because one of their stuff failed or messed up. That's not what we want. So... If a company stuff ain't right, speak up. Let us know. I'll let you guys know. You all know how much I love Mini Motors. But I've been talking about their they need to get their stuff right with the Storm Limited. But you know, I've always give those guys a lot of respect because they, they handle business and that's what they're doing right now. They're handling their business of getting this uh the storm limited issue fixed and my boy visa storm limited have been at their warehouse they are putting a new model for him and i would just like to say to many models when you guys put that new model for v for his storm limited make sure you throw in a couple of free brakes brake pads and all that good stuff some new tires just because that man spent 5k on the scooter and it's been over there for three months he hasn't been able to enjoy it you have got to do way more than just giving back the scooter and like oh yeah we fixed it i'll pay for shipping and all. it's not good enough i'm telling you right now okay so it's on there it's on there i think it's it's probably touching a little bit Maybe it's touching a little bit on my brake, on the brake area, but man, this, this look good. This looks good, man. I can't wait to try this stuff out. This tire feels so much better than this. Now I'm like, why the hell did I even buy these things in the first place? Um, man, this, this looks clean. This looks super clean. Like it doesn't, it's so, it's actually like a little bit more apart from the, the mod guard. You guys can see it because it's more like flat. This, this one spoke out more and this is the, um, run flats tires. So shoot, this looks way better. I got me another one of these cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna be having them just in case if I need to swap it out quick for a ride. So right now, we're just filing this out of the brake down, brake pad. Just like they actually did try to file it down on this side. I guess that's the Dutron tire actually also touches. Okay, shoot. And you guys can see. So I'm moving my hand back. Uh, check my settings. This area. Just set it to light. Alright guys, this is how much filing I had to do on this to get it down. So now we're gonna try it and see what if that works. So
and to make sure that the part that you filed is gonna be facing the inside. Like all smooth in there now. We'll see if that's that works. Uh, if not, I'll take this thing back down, kick it back out, and continue farming. At least my needle knows fly. It'll work way better to bend this stuff back. That'll be good. You can do this. Oh, it's going in pretty easy right now. all of a sudden it's that knuckle side that I go in You guys saw me put this in two times, man. What is going on? What is the dealio? That felt to go in. There we go. Some weird stuff. You just need to snap in. Alright. This is a lot. This is wave filing right now. And I think it should be good. It shouldn't be touching anything. So, let's get everything tightened back up. And, uh, let's see. I gotta adjust, have to adjust the, uh, like line up the brake so it wouldn't be touching. Remember, one of these goes down here. Just remember that. Tightening this by hand. Hmm. 
I'm gonna have to still file this thing down even more. That's, I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Pretty much. Huh? You guys see it? It's still kind of close. Well, if you guys can see right there. But it's still a little bit close to um, the thing as much as I would like. So I'm gonna file even a little bit more. Just a little bit more. But I'll show you guys right now that and just this a bit. Distance still moves a bit and then it touches it. To have to have this good tire on here, it's not gonna be for everybody. So but it's for those who are willing to put in as much work as it takes to mount it on here and line it up so I'm willing to do that so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna file this thing even more and then I'll mount it up and we should be good to go and then I'll finish up the video so guys it's all done um, that backs uh, the other side for the brakes you really have to um, shave the brake area down um, so this thing wouldn't rub so you can see no rubbing 